In the northern Israeli city of Um al Faham, mourners carry the coffin of 17 year old Mohammed Kiwan. His family says he was shot in the head and killed by undercover Israeli officers. His death comes amid rising tensions between Israelis and Palestinian citizens of Israel. The day he was shot, police say they responded to reports of men who were trying to attack Israeli motorists. They opened fire at a vehicle that had run over a cop, and they say they're now investigating whether Kiwan was in the car that was hit in the shooting. In the streets, there's grief and outrage. He was far too young. People have come from all over Israel and Palestine to attend his funeral. I think that the Israeli security forces intentionally killed him to scare off their youth. Kiwan's funeral morphed into a protest against violence and discrimination of Palestinian Israelis. As long as there is provocation against us and our religious sites, it will be a difficult situation. There is provocation from the settlers who are being supported by the Israeli government. We are protesting because we have our dignity. Dignity is the only thing we have now. Palestinian citizens of Israel make up 20 percent of the country's population. Most people who live in Umm al-Faham speak Arabic and Hebrew. They often complain of systematic discrimination, unfair access to housing, health care and education. The last time violence broke out inside Israel by Palestinian Israelis was in September 2000, during the Second Intifada. But many here say this time around, the intercommunal unrest is much worse. And regardless of the ceasefire between Hamas and Israel, many believe the simmering tensions will not fade anytime soon. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.